A couple of days ago, a meteor fell out of the sky, and in it, I found Ben 10's Omnitrix. Here's how I did it. Hey, yo, Bessie! What's up, Bessie? So, Bessie, you know in the last video, you kinda said that you would upgrade the Omnitrix if I was able to beat the Ender Dragon. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you guys heard it here first. You need to leave a like with your wrist in order to recalibrate the Omnitrix and we're gonna upgrade it. Let's do it together in three, two, one. Wait a second, look at that. The Omnitrix turned blue. So, okay, I'm pretty sure this means it's in recalibration mode. Oh, wait a second, Bessie's doing it. Oh, what? I think we did it. The Omnitrix has now been upgraded. Uh, so let's see. What? We have holograms now. I am getting such nostalgia from this. Okay, so we have brand new god level Ben 10 aliens. We have Swamp Fire. This is Echo Echo. Humongosaur. Jet Ray. Chromastone. And we're back to Swamp Fire. Wait a second. I feel like there should be more. Wait a second. Okay. I think I figured out why. So when I recalibrated the Omnitrix, I was reset to level one. So in today's video, we are going to need to level up to level 30 to gain access to every single god level Ben 10 alien. So guys, the best way to level up as Ben 10 is to go around and beat Minecraft and also to beat up fake Bessies. Let's do it, Swamp Fire. I can't believe it. Okay, so we have a brand new set of abilities. Swamp Fire is almost like the upgraded version of Heat Blast. We have flamethrower abilities, pyrokinesis, where we could just light anything on fire, but we also have plant abilities, so I can grow things around us and we can trap things in weeds. And then I can put you to sleep with a stun spore. Why are you not sleeping? Why am I on fire? Wait a second, I can one hit punch every single mob except for the villagers one two three four who's at the door back bro ben 10 <laughs> When I unlocked a brand new ability, we have a fire flight. All right, well, this has basically turned into my brand new favorite Ben 10 alien. And since I now have upgraded it, we have access to master control. So if I wanted to, I can immediately morph into brainstorm. My forehead is so big. We have electrokinesis. How? What? I did not realize that villagers turn into witches when struck by lightning. Don't worry, I will go and electrocute you. Did I electrocute myself? Okay, you didn't have to be rude about it. Well, we can also activate an electrical force field, so you can't touch me anymore and I can touch you. Uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, it looks like this dude's not really as powerful as our first guy. Swamp fire was just superior, but I can climb on walls, so I guess that's pretty cool. I'm a little bit scared to get near this witch, so we're just gonna electrocute everything that we find. Why do I keep transforming things into different things? Wait a second, if I hold this down, I can actually electrocute things in front of me. Let's test out Echo Echo. Well, I got a lot smaller. My face is permanently in a downward frowning spiral. But we can use a sonic scream ability. Come here, Bacon. I want to scream in your ears. Hello, Bacon. Oh, wow. That is effective. Look at the... Look at it, dude. This goes crazy. I can also use echolocation. Wait, wait a second. I can see everything underground. And it does damage too. What else do I got here? Did I just split? I literally just split. This is like the Spider-Man meme. Wait, can I make more clones? I can. I can make infinite clones. Wait a second. Will they fight for me? Everybody get the bacon. Wait, every single time I clone, I didn't even realize, but I get smaller and smaller. Go get the bacon, my clones. They actually do it. This is amazing. I need more. I'm gonna have an entire army of Echo Echoes. And then I guess I could go and then absorb them all back. So I guess I need to be directly next to them. And then if I hit B, it looks like I absorb them all back into my body. Scream. <laughs> I just broke the chicken's eardrums. We also have one of my personal favorites, Humongosaur. Can I get even bigger? Yes, I can. I'm still going. I'm still getting bigger. We're just constantly getting bigger. This is crazy. Let's see. I have a ground smash ability where I just fart explosively. We have a powerful roar ability, which is basically like an upgraded version of Echo Echo's sonic wave ability. And then I can also use a full power punch. I don't really know why I'm testing it on this pig. I feel awfully bad for this small child of bacon. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna shrink back down to just slightly normal size. And Humongosaur is now going to be Humongo Bread Farmer because we are currently running out of food very, very quickly. 
When you're a giant dinosaur alien like myself, you need a lot of carbs in order to carbo load and get all the energy for the day. Let's shrink back down so we can go into the blacksmith and what, we have diamonds and iron? Oh, this is a beautiful sight. And we also have a cast for the infinity gauntlet. Ben 10 plus the infinity gauntlet. Wait, imagine if one of the aliens I could turn into was just Thanos because Thanos is technically an alien. We also unlocked a jet ray. Can I fly? Oh yes, I can definitely fly. Wait, can I fly? I'm confused. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. This is crazy fast. Okay, we're gonna fly up here. I still haven't gotten any wood today, so we should probably do that. Zombie, I would not do it today. You are messing with Jet Ray. I can literally shoot lasers from my mouth and my eyeballs. Don't get any ideas, chicken. Okay, we can plop the wood in there. We can combine it together in a quadular formation. Put down the crafting table. Put the two pieces in there. Get those sticks. Put some iron up top. We got ourselves an iron pickaxe. We can also put in our carbs in order to turn it into bread. And now we can actually feed the god level Ben 10 aliens. I guess while we're here, it should be a good idea to get a sword, even though you really never see Ben 10 using a sword. Oh, there's an enderman down there. We can collect it in order to get an ender pearl for later. Hey, buddy. Oh, my. Oh my gosh, I can literally demolish any mob. The Ender Dragon is about to get sliced. We should have taken till the end of the video to see which alien I use in order to take down the Ender Dragon. Uh, I'm pretty sure eventually, by the end of today's video, I can also get Alien X. I don't know if that's exactly a good idea or a bad idea, but I definitely need to test it out. Let's test out Big Chill. Wait, this guy looks amazing. So I completely forgot Big Chill can also fly with his giant blue ice wings, but Big Chill is also extremely chill in terms of temperature. He is able to freeze any mob, and then I can hit them with an ice blast. Wait a second, I just- Wait, it timed out? Wait, my Omnitrix can actually time out? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm literally out here by myself. I'm just normal back pro Jack now. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. I'm gonna hide in this ice cube with you, buddy. Okay. Not my best idea. It looks like we're back in business. The next alien we can test out is Goop. <laughs> I forgot about Goop. So Goop is basically just like this slime ball that's controlled by this little tiny UFO thing that floats above its head. It can shoot out slime projectiles, which are apparently stupidly overpowered. What the heck, dude? It's killing the sheep in one single slime. Since we are basically made of slime, we can also just, I believe, go through walls. Yeah, it just, it, it's kind of slow and it's not very effective. And we could also polymorph into just a puddle. So when we are now in puddle formation, uh, look at it. I'm literally just a bunch of particles. So this would be really good if a mob's chasing me. I could just turn into a puddle and it will have no idea what's happening. And then wait a second, we also have slime flight. I can fly as a slime puddle? Oh yeah, because the thing above me, it's just moving me around. I forgot how overpowered the recalibrated... 10 aliens are. And would you look at that? We just stumbled across my good old friend Baracko. Okay, let's turn back to normal. And now we can test out Nanomech. This is one of the smallest aliens. But since I'm super tiny, I should be able to sneak up on Baracko and then blast him. Never mind, never mind. I lied. I completely lied. He completely just found me, and I'm completely gonna die. Okay, we're morphing back. We are morphing back. That was not a good alien to turn into. Back to the drawing board. Wait a second, since we've been leveling up, we unlocked a brand new ability called the next playlist. Wait, I can turn back into Cannonball? There's also this little guy, I think his name is Upchuck? I did not mean to turn into him, but this is definitely Upchuck. So I can ingest anything around me in order to gain more power. And then I should be able to just spit out everything that I just ate. Oh, okay, I do a lot of damage, but I also take a lot of damage. Let's try something a little bit stronger, like Lodestar. I'm able to fly. We have Magnokinesis. Whoa, I can move any blocks. We have magnetic repulsion. It just throws mobs around. That is sick. And then we also have a force field ability where we can take no damage for a short period of time. And then I'm pretty sure this dude is also super powerful. Look at my punching abilities. Okay, let's use our force field. Look at that, the force field is absorbing all the hits. Wait, I just picked him up. I put him inside of a block. Look at him. I can just pick him up and put him down in different spots. Come here, big boy. I just keep dropping him. Oh, that doesn't look good. I can also spam this ability. Magnetic repulsion. Oh, force field. The force field absorbed every single bit of that damage. Sorry, sir. I'm going to have to place you in the ground for now. Wow, that is insane. Wait a second. Somehow this man's gaining back health. And also, where did all of my items go? Did he steal all my items? What the heck? Oh, come on. He's so close to dying. We did it. Ben 10 is way too overpowered. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to need to get some chicken. Swamp Fire is going to be extremely good at this. 
Give me some chicken. We're just slightly roasting the chicken alive. What we can do is trap them all, and then we can just roast them all alive. Bessie would be so proud of me. It's like a barbecue. The Beck Bro Ben 10 barbecue. No juicy animal is safe from swamp fire. Well, we've pretty much become almost every single upgraded Ben 10 alien. That is, except for one. Alien X. Now, a lot of you guys were commenting in the last video that I should turn into Alien X. So today, we're gonna try it. In three, two, one. One. No, it's these two. I am Serena, the voice of love and compassion. And I am Bullicious, the voice of rage and aggression. You are the voice of reason. For us to use our power, three of us must agree. So I have three different options here. We can uh, try to work with them a little bit. We can also try to ask them questions or we could say, I don't care. And then we get control. The thing is, if we make these two angry, they can actually lock me in this dimension. So Serena and Belicious, this is, it's literally just like the TV show, if you guys are fans. I am getting a huge nostalgia trip right now. So let's ask, well, what can we do? We can do anything we ever imagined, uh, if we agree on it. Okay, so I need to figure out something that we can agree. Um, well, let's see if they can turn me back to normal. What about if I ask them to set the time today? They both just said no. They, they, they just said no. They just didn't even care. Well, how do I get back? You are one of three. We are the most powerful beings in the universe. Because we are the most deliberative. Well then, did, can I go back? Let me turn back. No, no, we have debating for eternity. But now that you're here, we can finally settle something. We can't just let you leave. Wait a second, I don't want to be trapped here because I'm going to be trapped here forever. This is exactly what I was worried about. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how dare you speak to us this way, you insolent fool. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm currently getting attacked by something. There is a spider trying to kill me. Okay, I'm going to try to make them a little bit happier just so that they let me out. I'm very sorry. Guys, there is literally a spider that is biting my butt over and over again. Wait, it knocked me out of it. Yes, yes, thank you, spider. This is amazing. Guys, but we have a problem. It looks like the recalibrated Omnitrix has timed out. I don't really know if that's supposed to happen. It's back on and we're surrounded by Enderman. This is definitely a job for Fast Track. Fast Track is kind of almost like an upgraded version of Accelerate. I can go extremely fast on the track and we also do tons of damage. Okay, maybe not as much damage as I would, I would like to do. Okay, now I'm dead. But luckily I still have the Omnitrix forever. Wait a second, we have Wrath. Yes! This is my favorite. Let's go. Wait a second, we have a lava pool right here, so we can actually use this in order to get to the nether. Wait, what are my abilities? Oh! I just smashed the ground and exploded everything. We also have these really cool looking claws on my hands. And since I'm a cat, I can climb things. And I think there's only one more alien that I have left to turn into, and that's rocks. Well, I can generate energy blades. We can activate a hover mode. I can generate an energy wall? What? Oh, wait a second, I can generate a portal. Where does the portal go? Wait a second, I can add a dimension breach? Lava pool. And hold on, can I go through it? What? This is amazing, so I can I can just come back here whenever. As Jet Ray, we were able to find a desert temple super easily. And then if we morph into Lodestar, we should be able to move the blocks out of the way. Now we can collect all the iron in here. We can fly back out, and then we can easily craft ourselves a bucket in order to get to the nether. We got ourselves a bucket, and now we can morph into rocks, open the portal, and go all the way back to the lava pool. This is so stupidly overpowered, I love it. Let's morph back into Beckbro Ben 10. We can turn into Swamp Fire. And then we can light this puppy up. <laughs> it worked. You're not going anywhere, Mr. Pigman. We found a fortress. I don't really know why I'm taking fire damage. I am literally made out of flames. But I guess I'm also made out of plants too. It's a very weird combination. We have seven blaze rods, that is enough. I am done fighting blazes. We're gonna turn them into the magical blaze powder of amazingness. And now we can fly our way back home to victory. Wait a second, I wonder, can we turn back into rocks? And can we generate our portal? No, we can't do interdimensional travel. I guess we'll slowly hover back to the portal. Wait, this guy can fly too? I thought he could just hover. Wait, this guy's actually stupidly overpowered. What? And if there's skeletons, I can just put up a wall. And then I can take down the wall if I want. Not today, buddy. Behind the wall. Go around the wall. The wall is gone. <laughs> These mobs have to be so confused. They've never <laughs> seen an alien point like this. And they've also probably never really seen many aliens before.
We have all the ender pearls we need, all the blaze powders. Let's plop them in there. We'll get the eyes of the amazing ender. Before I do anything else, though, I do want to try and unlock the full version of Alien X. Let's see how this goes. So that didn't work out, and I am now stuck here for three days. Well, after three days, I finally managed to escape, and we have found the end portal. Let's do this. First up, let's go around his swamp fire and destroy all of the end crystals. This is so easy, I love it. It even cuts through the iron bars. Now let's morph into a humongousaur. Let's get even bigger. Let's see how much damage we can do. Oh my goodness, yo! We just did half of its hearts. It's back for more, let's finish this. Wait a second, I have to do it as wrath. Yes! Let's do this, baby! Ooh, we exploded it! My shockwaves did it! Wrath defeated the Ender Dragon. Comment down below what I should beat Minecraft as next.